Hello YouTube, this is Vistabuntu and you are watching another episode of my Let's Play series of the Technic SSP mod pack for Minecraft 125. Um, last time we wrapped up trying to find, uh, in one of the Mistcraft ages that we made, um, trying to find silverwood and greatwood trees so that we can use those logs and leaves to, uh, to make a little bit faster progress in Thomcraft 2. Um, unfortunately, the age that we made did not have, at least in its immediate vicinity, uh, any of those trees. So today, the plan will be to, uh, well, get rid of these slimes, never-ending slimes, but um, to either explore this one and find those trees, or make more mistcraft ages with different properties so that we can find what we're looking for. Um, I have, and I, I have the feeling that this particular age, because it's just a single biome, that for some reason it might not be. Uh, for some reason, Thumbcraft Two might not generate those types of trees nearby, because I went up pretty high and looked around and saw none of them. But maybe it was just luck of the draw with that. So we'll see. Um, if there aren't any nearby after I. Um, do some exploring here. I'm going to go back and make some ages and see what properties might have, what age properties might might work with uh, generating those types of trees. All right. Um, before doing anything, though, even though the waypoints keep disappearing on the ages, um, and and using these arrows doesn't really help. Um, so even though using this to make waypoints in Mistcraft Ages doesn't work the next time you log in, I'm going to still try use try to remember using it each time that I enter one of these ages, because it'll at least be there in this play session, and really that's better than nothing. Um, so book home. Alright, so should be safe now with that. Kill this slime. Yeah, that'll be good. I don't need to pillar up every five chunks and see what the distance looks like. That's... oh yeah, not going by that guy. Um, if it seems like it's stuttering for you, that's because it's stuttering for me too. Um, doing a lot of chunk loading since I'm exploring right now. And each time it freezes to do a load, if I'm turning the camera it like turns it really far. So that's what happened a few seconds ago. Um, I'm not seeing anything, any of those silver wood or great wood. Well is this great wood? Wow, this might be great wood. We'll know in a second if the whole thing comes down. And it did not. Cool, great wood. So we found great wood. Um, so silver wood should be out here. I'm gonna pillar up over here and see what I find. Actually, I've got my alchemy bag and a full stack of sand. So I'm gonna use that and just pillar up. <coughs> Excuse me. And just pillar up on top of a torch because that's the easy way to do it. And then when I'm done, actually before I go anywhere, water bucket. I'm trying to do this before one of those orange slimes comes down here. It messes up my day. Alright. And that would kill me still. Or hurt me. Now it should be deep enough. Alright. Ha! I beat that slime to it. It's gonna get pretty loud. Let me actually turn that sound down again. Alright. So the green shade of the Great Wood Tree stands out quite a bit, and that should be pretty helpful in finding other ones nearby. Silverwood Trees definitely stand out. There's one in the top right, and there's actually more now that I turn the camera around. 
Cool, so it was just the spawn area that they didn't show up in, which maybe that's just the property of Thumbcraft. But to the left over there, you see a lot of greatwood trees in the top left. Um, that brighter, almost grass shade of green. And um, that is where I'm going to head. Um, so that looks like that's a little bit north, northeast of here. And there's some silver wood to the north west and to the east. So we've got a few options. Now let's see if I can get down without dying. Awesome. And I'm that, now that slime's going to attack me. Oh wow, the uh, <laughs> texture. Um, maybe this is a problem with the texture pack I'm using, this Fax Pure BD Craft texture pack. But um, the texture here in my hand is not a great wood texture. It is a, uh, on the t uh, bottom right of the screen, that's a tainted wood texture. So maybe that's the same item ID, but just a different like meta value. I don't know, but that was unexpected. Okay, so sand. I did, I did that completely wrong. Don't do that, kids. Uh, get rid of this guy and do this right. There. That's always so satisfying. Ooh. Thank you. And you have fur, so... Sorry. And for anyone who missed the last episode, the fur is now suddenly important because I have, um... I have... Yes, excuse you, dear. Um, the fur is now suddenly important because I've made something that basically allows me to exchange one fur and one slime ball to get a zombie brain because um, in this particular mod pack um, the angry zombies that normally give you zombie brains the angry zombies do not spawn and that's really um, a bummer it's not I don't think it's necessary um, to like progress in thumbcraft um, if you don't have those I don't think it like actually prevents you from making progress but if you want to try like 100% completing Thalmcraft 2 then you're not going to have those angry zombies and that means you won't have their zombie brains to do the research on and get the brain in the jar. So that's why that was built in that last episode. Um, check it out if you haven't. It's actually a pretty neat uh, pretty neat thing I put together there, so shamelessly promoting it. Wow, I didn't realize I was up so high. Turn the sound off for a little bit here. And actually, <laughs> um, I'm going to make shears, because I haven't done that yet, and I, I need to do that before I get rid of one of the silverwood trees. Even though, like, there's practically endless supply of silverwood trees now because of mistcraft ages that have silverwood trees in them it's still like something that i don't want to waste if i can help it i don't know um all right so oh and i grabbed a bunch of wood from storage in the overworld um between episodes here because it's oh wait what Whatever. Um, so I grabbed a bunch of wood from the overworld so that I can put it in the uh, Thalmcraft age that I made um, in the, the chest there or cook it up in the furnaces right away because more charcoal is, is awesome. Um, it means more glowstone, more gunpowder, whatever I want to make. Um, great wood saplings. There's a way to grow great wood trees not silverwood in this version, but great wood should be growable in certain conditions. Difficult conditions, but they're there. So, um, 
so I'm going to keep that in mind. Um, great with logs, great with sapling, sure. Um, and I had these things in my alchemy bag because the talisman of repairs in there, and it did a pretty good job of repairing them. If we look at the um, meta value on the diamond axe here, it says 279, and then there's a colon 300. The 300 is the meta value, which corresponds in this case to the damage that it has. And if I put this in here, you see that going down every second. It goes down like one, sometimes two, I think. Um, second and a half, something like that. But that's still free repair. I don't have to use any covalence dust, which I have, but I don't want to use it if I don't need to. So this talisman of repair is making my life super easy. I just need to like live for a little while without having that item in my hotbar, and I'll have a repaired item in no time like I do with these. So that's exciting. Um, I don't need water right now, so that's going up here. I'll keep the shears in my hand. Let's see what Thaumcraft info this has. Nothing. So actually, this might be researchable, but it might not be like smeltable for anything valuable. Um, it doesn't even have a research value though, so I don't know what purpose it might have besides just being an item. Um, I'll collect a few, but I won't collect the, I won't collect these leaves on on other trees, um, that I cut down. Then when I get to the silver woods, I'll definitely collect those because the leaves themselves, I don't think they're super important, but they do have some effect from what I read. And um, having leaves on top of a log makes um, the mod believe that it's a tree. So you could have like, you can cut down a silverwood tree and collect the leaves uh, with shears and then put a single silverwood log somewhere with a single leaf block from that silverwood tree on top of it. And that would be considered a tree, however small it is. And that would have an effect on the charge, the taint charge in that, that area. Um, and so the way it works, if I remember right, is if you have um, silverwood trees in an area, anything that produces taint in that area, like not an instant like taint production, like if you like throwed a bunch of stuff into a cauldron, threw, sorry, not throwed, wow, um, but but um, things that affect the actual taint charge of the area, which is different from the taint level. Um, so throwing a bunch of stuff in a cauldron typically will release taint into, well, it'll put taint into the cauldron, for one. Um, and if you, like, break the cauldron, for example, it'll release that taint immediately into that area and increase the taint level of that area. Um, the taint charge, though, changes based on certain events. Um, I forget exactly what those are, but if the taint charge increases, then that means that over time, the taint will continue to increase. It won't be like a one-time thing. Um, and so it's really important to keep the taint charge in check. And the way to do that, for example, would be to place silverwood trees nearby it um, with like silverwood leaves on top. And again, I'm not certain because I'm not very familiar with this mod. I just was doing some reading on it. but it might not even be important to have the leaves on the, on the uh, silverwood logs. I've seen like mention of making that type of setup and the effects it had, but I don't know if I've seen comparison between that and just having the logs and what effect that had. So I'm just playing it safe and I'm going to put those silverwood leaves on the silverwood logs just in case it it makes any difference because anything I can do to keep taint charge in check is something I want to do. I don't want to corrupt. Um, even though it's a mistcraft age that I have my thumbcraft stuff in, I don't want to corrupt that mistcraft age because it would still be annoying to and a big use of time, unnecessary use of time to uh, have to rebuild all the stuff that was in that age somewhere else 
just because I was careless with making taint. So, I think I might have enough logs here. It's really unfortunate that it doesn't um, work with the, uh, that these trees, these uh, particular logs from Thalmcraft too, that they don't work with the um, tree capitator mod that automatically cuts down the whole tree in one fell swoop when you break the first block. Um, so I might actually just, now that I know these are here, I might just keep that book in the chest in the overworld and come back to it when I need more logs. But I've got, well, seven right here, but I've got loads of logs on the ground and I'm going to cut down a few more before heading down. But I'm not going to spend much more time cutting down great wood in this episode. Um, I'll collect a bunch of silver wood because there's a lot more benefit from that, but great wood, I think the main benefit with great wood is to slightly increase how many enchanted logs you get when you um, use the thomic infuser with a V crystal to enchant logs. Um, you get five when you do that with great wood logs, and you only get four when you do it with any other log. Uh, silverwood log, I don't remember how many you get, but silverwood log is too important for me to want to do that with. So I, I'm going to avoid that. Really? Okay, before these despawn. And since the only one here that can hurt me is this guy... I'll let the other ones jump at me for a while. While I fix the sound. And... Grab my food so that I heal. Because starting to take some damage here. Wow, yeah, this is pretty high up. I didn't realize, but I'm almost at 90. And when you hit 90, it starts making that sound. And that little guy can do a lot of damage. Here, I'll show you, actually. I'm wearing full diamond armor. That was a bad example. But I fought those in the past. When I didn't have full diamond armor, I had full fur armor, which is obviously way weaker than diamond. But this thing still took like four hits, one of them with a crit, 
from a diamond sword. And it's just a baby tiger or something. So they're not they're not as uh, small of threats as it might seem from their size. Alright, so this area is cleared out. I'm going to put a bunch of stuff in this bag so I don't lose it. Great wood leaves, saplings for sure. Um, eh, I don't care about these. Great with dogs, logs. Do a closet in here? I'm ignoring that guy right now. I, I don't have those. Okay. I just realized. I'm gonna put these in my bag because it has the talisman of repair. Yes, it's it's repairing them. Awesome. Um, all right, so I wanted to go to the north and to the east. East had the silverwood trees and snake. I'll avoid the snake. Um, silverwood trees should be a little bit further along, and I want to collect any of the. Uh, glowing blue flowers from the base of them. There's one. Forget what those are called. Shimmer leaf. Um, there's another one. I'll get this one first. Um, so shimmer leaf is used in making like essences of magic in Thumbcraft. And I don't know anything about that, other than that it's used in it. But those essence, essences seem useful, and so I'm going to collect all the shimmer leaf I can right now. Since I'm not in the overworld, and I don't think it will have an effect on anything negatively that actually matters. I can't believe I'm already at 89, like, height of 89 right now. That really surprised me. Like, literally going up one more block to get the rest of those leaves. It's going to start making that, that wind, I think. Let me try. Just one. Oh, wow. Cheers. Why? I'm going to keep an eye on the durability. Yeah, well, no, it didn't increase the sound, but it's going to at 91, higher than 90. Ninety-two. That's not. I'm gonna find exactly what number it starts making a bunch of noise at. Ninety-three. And my shears are almost used up, so I'm going to put those away. 94. Oh wow, these are repaired already. That is super cool. So while those get repaired, specifically the uh, shears, I'm going to cut down some of the bottom here, since it is one by one. I think leaves can grow up to three blocks away without breaking on their own. So I'm okay breaking those ones for now and then I'll grab my shoes in a second. Silverwood logs, only got five I need. I'm gonna I'm gonna collect like maybe thirty of those, like a half a stack. And then then uh, move on. Good to know that this age actually has these things in it though. And um, there's my book home marker, so I'm safe there. Uh, shears. I can break a bunch more leaves with this. So let's keep going with that.
And these don't even have a research value on them, but I imagine that they should be able to get researched or smelted. So, let's take a look at that later too. Alright, so that's one tree down. There's another one. Put these first. Hello. I would attack it right now because it's in like it seems like it doesn't want to fly around much. But I think the moment I attack it, it's going to fly away and then zap me from a distance. And I'm not near my portal, so I would end up dying from fire. Well, I've got water. That might help. But it would still zap me while I'm in the water. Oh my god. So many of these guys. Okay. I should have had this in my backpack between trees, or in my alchemy bag. Should we leave? But actually, since there's a lot more of these trees that I can find later on, and since I have like a stack and a half of those leaves right now and only five logs, I'm not going to collect the leaves for a while, because I don't know if there's enough benefit for that time. Um, so I'm going to put the shears in here. These are done repairing. That's awesome. Um, but I'm going to run around and cut down all the all the uh, silverwoods I can find, because it would be really easy to make another one of these pages and find more if this one gets kind of starved with those from cutting them all down. And again, silverwood saplings aren't in this version, so I can't just like replant all the cutting down that I do. But thankfully Mistcraft really helps with that whole regeneration aspect. And I think I can get rid of ages later on, like from my hard drive. Um, should be more silverwood trees over this way. Lots of these, nice. Alright, the stuttering should stop any second because I'm not going to explore much farther, but this guy needs to die. Wow, I'm gonna stop trying. <laughs> And I continue to fail. Okay. There. Why do I have an egg? Okay. It's hard to know what crunchy ground walking sound is hopping of slimes and how much of it is my own walking or even this chicken walking. Because it all sounds the same. Alright. Silverwood. I feel like this isn't very much. It's only 22. Whoa. Oh, Quicksilver. That falls from those sometimes. When they're broken, not when a... Um, not when shears are used on it. So actually, that's um, just fixing my inventory. That's actually really nice because it has a pretty high smelting value, but the research value is is decent too. And I could research Quicksilver itself and maybe get some discovery from that. Um, 17 shimmer leaves, pretty good. Silverwood trees are the main part there. And the great wood logs. Got loads of those. Cool. So I'm just going to break all the rest of these leaves, hopefully get more quicksilver, and then I'll head back to the overworld and we can do some... Oh, we can make some progress in other ways. Maybe enchant the, the logs. Um, oh, one thing that I meant to do while I was in places like this 
was collect more of those uh, sea crystals. And since I found bee crystals in the desert age, I should be trying to find them in other ages too. Um, so right now I'm at... Sorry, I'm trying to juggle a few things. I don't see any more... There they are. Okay. Um, right now I'm at Y89, and I want to be down around Y50 in order to find those crystals, I think. So... Ooh, there's rubber here. Cool. Um, and if I need more wood later on, just regular- whoa, there's a scorpion. Um, okay, no more uh, talking until I get back to the book. It's just too much going on. Water break. Okay. I should have been running. Cool. So, I'm back here. The plan is get to the overworld and make a book to another dimension that isn't so high up, maybe? I don't know. I don't know why the forest would all be at Y90. Maybe Y... well, it's Y88 technically. My head is at Y90. I'm at Y89. The ground is at Y88. But, um... I would have imagined flat... a flat world being, like... much closer to sea level, which I think is, like, 70. Um... So it's just a little surprising. And I'm curious if making another flat world would also be at 89. I can just check this one. 89. And I just remembered that was chasing me when I went through the book last time, so it's cool that it, like, didn't move until I came back. Um, there's fur in there. That's yes, hello. Up off these there, this claw. More wood, why not? No wood. This away. Shears, right. Oh right, that was sand. Okay. Since I'm here, and have lots of charcoal, let's see what's here. Still more than a half a stack of that. This is going through, making a bunch of tin dust. I'm going to wait a few seconds and throw another stack of something in there. Because I've got so much that needs to get ground up, and I don't really want to take time to make more um, overclocker upgrades. Which seems kind of silly, because I have so many resources at this point, but still. Um, tungsten. Why do I have tungsten here? Is there a use for it right now? There's not. So I wonder if I would even be able to smelt that down. Not as much tin. Um, a decent amount of copper though, and rubber. And actually... Hmm. I must have my... Uh, 
Yeah, sticky resin and rubber are here. Uranium ore, why is that? Oh, right, because these are extra, extra stuff that I don't want to keep inventory space with. Um, I think actually with this many crystals to start with, I think I should be good to go with making a V detector and a taint detector and enchanted wood and actually make some decent progress today in Thumbcraft. So let's get that going. Put this here. Um, I just realized that's going to make two full stacks, but that's all right. I'll let it fill up. I'm not going to make automation right now to uh, pull it out and free up space. Tin dust goes here because I have loads of it here already. Cool. So... Go to the desert. Do I want to cut this down? Nah. Not right now. Okay. No. Oh, and if you're wondering about um, what happened with making the um, portal to the nether, I kind of just decided not to go forward with that right now because um, there's a lot of other things I want to work on and I haven't decided exactly where I want that portal. I really kind of want to have that portal set up um, in such a way that I can use Mistcraft ages and Mistcraft books to teleport easily between that portal and my base in the overworld. Um, which would be, it'd be really neat to have that type of setup, but at the moment it's not important. Going to throw a bunch of these in here. Cool. Hello. Nice. Hmm. I'm so tempted to just use the furnace right now to try doubling stuff um, that I cook in it. But I really want to make arcane bellows before I do that. Because the more arcane bellows that are around this thing, the higher the chance, I think, of, of it d actually doubling what I what I smelt, so I think it would be wise to wait. Cook up those. So much glowstone dust. Um, speaking of that, nice alchemical coal and redstone. Why redstone? Huh. Interesting. Um, because redstone is 64 EMC, I'll come with the coal is 512. Huh. So it, like, had two separate stacks, it seems. Just a few extra. Oh well, not important. I'll take the redstone out. But, um, what I was going to do is actually reduce how many are being cycled through to upgrade in at least one of these, because then each item, each fuel, will actually upgrade to the next fuel much sooner. Um, since I won't be like throwing EMC onto 30 items in this one, and having 1 30th of the EMC put on each one, it'll all go on just like one item. So I'm actually going to take that out, and cut that in half, twice. Well. Let me see, dark matter requires what? Dark matter... It's not dark matter. Dark matter. Eternalist fuel. Eight eternalist fuel for dark matter. Wow! Hold on. This guy's being really rude right now. Um, so that's going to take a while to upgrade because this is still a Mark 1. 
collector, but it's going to upgrade way faster than if I had 30 total items in it. Having just 4 is going to be like 8 times faster. Um, and blaze powder, nice. That'll be good to use. Um, right, so uses of this. So 6 of these and 3 dark matter make a red matter, which is like really high tier, but red matter is super useful in making really good tools that I want to get eventually. Um, one Eternalist Fuel upgrades a Nova, Nova Catalyst into two Nova Cataclysms. I won't get into that. Not super familiar with it in the first place, but um, I'm trying to see where these are used. Only one page of that, one page of that. Okay. So Mobius Fuel is a lower tier than Eternalist. It's one fourth of that. And a chemical coal is one fourth of Mobius fuel. A chemical coal is only used in making uh, coal or Mobius fuel using Philosopher's Stone. So it's really just an intermediate thing that they put in this mod. Um, but Mobius fuel is used in more than that. So I could use the Philosopher's Stone with it and also use TNT with it to make things that go boom. Um, that'll be for later maybe. But right now, Nova Catalyst, Mobius Fuel, and Flint and Steel. So that is a fun item. I think it uses EMC in like a Kleinstar to break things um, really explosively. Ring of Ignition starts things on fire, it, make, it takes two Mobius Fuel, two Dark Matter, which is each Diamonds and Eternal's Fuel, which are each four of those. So that would be 32 Mobius Fuel, plus these two, and an Iron Band, which is nothing. Um, so 34 Mobius Fuel for Ring of Ignition, which I don't care about right now. Kleinstar Ein is the lowest tier Kleinstar. That's something I should go after, because all of the tools can use the Kleinstar Ein um, to fuel what they do. Including the one that lets me fly, and I'm excited for that one. Um, again? Dude, leave me alone. Okay. So, this is almost at 4 blaze powder already, which will go up to the next tier. I didn't expect it to be in here, so I'm not actually sure what the next tier is right now. Um, but anyway, so this is going to get thrown away. Just uh, trying to get this organized. Alright, what's the next tier? I'm still not going to know actually for a little while. Um, I'll check back on that. But, Dark Matter. Eternalist Fuel, Mobius Fuel, I'm trying to see where this is used, Ring of Ignition, Kleinstar Iron, right. So Kleinstar Iron, 1 Diamond, 4 Mobius Fuel. That is awesome. It's, it's not terribly expensive to make. So this is EMC 768 for Blaze Powder. Um, and Mobius Fuel is like almost three times that. So it'll take a while to upgrade four blaze powders to that, but hold on a sec. Goodbye. But I need eight of them. Okay, so not just four. So I should have two of these trying to get there. Or, I can just do this. And grab my handy philosopher stone from my backpack. Alchemical bag. Should use the proper term. Um, charcoal, coal, right. Philosopher stone. 
See, I knew this was going to be a mess each time I opened it, and it would take me a second to get reoriented with where things are. But, it's super worth having. Alright. So, 40 alchemical coal. Each one of these can become... Well, each four of these can become a... Uh, Hold on a sec, I'm doing that wrong. This, this can do fun things like that, but I don't care about that right now. Um, there. So... I need four though. That means I need to use this. Okay, so Mobius fuel from that. I want to convert all of these. So ten Mobius fuel. Awesome. I needed eight to get the Klein Star and one diamond, so I can actually make one already. That is exciting. Wait, Eternalist Fuel or Mobius Fuel? Mobius Fuel, cool. So, diamond for that. Easy. Awesome, Kleinstar Ein. And I'm not using transmutation table to just like convert loads of unrelated stuff into diamonds or Mobius fuel and whatnot, so it feels really good about actually achieving getting a Kleinstar Ein or any progress in this uh, equivalent exchange mod because it takes a lot of um, a lot of EMC to get there. The uh, Kleinster Iron is 24,000 EMC. Cobblestone is less, well, cobblestone is one. So it's like having 24,000 cobblestone converted into that, except cobblestone is really easy to get. So it's really more like throwing more rare stuff at it, like diamonds and whatever. Um, why did this go down in charge? Hmm. I don't think I've shown this. For anyone not familiar, if you do this, right click on this while it's charged, the amount of charge, you like hit V to change the amount of charge, shift V lowers it. Um, but the the radius of the area that gets converted into a different material um, depends on the charge level. So the higher charge, the farther it goes. It's charged four times, it goes four blocks away from the center when I click on. Um, sand turns to grass, and grass to sand. If I hold shift and right click, it turns into cobblestone. Cobblestone turns into stone. Shift and right click on stone, or on cobblestone, turns it back to grass. So that's pretty cool. I see you. I'll just leave this here for later. If the area gets all taint infected, that will survive it. I should actually convert all of this into something like that, but uh, sand and grass and dirt all get converted into taint if the area gets tainted, um, or gets a taint infection, but cobblestone doesn't. Regular stone does, so I can't use that either. But anyway, let's get more of this going. Cool. junk. Alright, so Kleinstar Iron and Philosopher's Stone I really want to hold on to. Hmm, I wonder if I convert the terrain, no, even even as cobblestone it would still spawn mobs on it. It would have to be half slabs or something, which I don't think can get converted. Trees though, I think can get converted, but I'm not going to mess with that right now talking about using the Philosopher's Stone, by the way. Um, all those great wood leaves. Put those in the chest. Put these away. No. I've already got one stack. 
A stack of glowstone dust also. Mobius fuel. I guess I'll keep that in one of the collectors. Hmm, so there's 11 in that one, 11 in that one. Okay, so glowstone comes after blaze powder. Like, full blocks of glowstone. Which, technically, I could just save time by converting these into full blocks of glowstone. Hmm. No, that wouldn't save time, though, because it takes four of these to get the same EMC amount. So it's the same amount of time collecting energy and putting it into something to make that. Right, so... I'm going to... Whoa. Really? Come on. So I'm going to have these cap at Mobius Fuel. And what it did there was because it is going directly to Mobius Fuel now, because I put a target to go directly to, it moved all those out of the way. Um, instead of trying to upconvert the glowstone dust into a chemical coal first. So I'm going to do the same thing here. And just basically target Mobius Fuel, because I can use those in various ways, I guess, but I can't use the things below Mobius Fuel for the EE2 mod in um, in many different ways. They're useful in other ways, obviously, if you have redstone, gunpowder, whatever, glowstone dust, but right now I'm trying to get the EE2 mod, um, make some advancements in that. Get a chemical coal and glowstone dust. I'll just let that one keep up converting to whatever it gets to. Yeah. Hmm. Leaves, get those out of my inventory because I don't need them there. Um, redstone. Right, soul stealer enchantment. I should have that in a safer place, actually. Because it took some time. Yeah, I'll do that. Where does it go? Okay, it's right here. So, fragments of lost knowledge, soul stealer enchantment, some uncommon artifacts. A rare artifact should help later on, but I'm not touching it for now. Um, gonna put the Philosopher's Stone away. Klein Star, put that there for safekeeping. Um, so how the Klein Star works, by the way, I could throw that directly in one of these energy collectors in here, I believe, and it will put the energy directly into the Klein Star and charge it up. And the Klein Star Ein, even though it says EMC twenty four thousand, I think its overall charge that it can have is four times that. Um, I could be off on that number, but it's higher than its EMC value if I remember right. And um, by charging it, by putting it in one of the EE2 machines, the equivalent exchange to things like the energy collector here, um, it builds that charge. And then by using it, um, and the way you use it is simply by having it in your inventory while you use something like um, the Swift Wolf Rending Gale ring. Which actually, how much does that cost? It's four of these. So it's four diamond blocks and 32 eternalist fuel to get that. But that, when you use it, allows you to fly um, and hover, like in creative mode, which is awesome. Um, and it makes the um, ender dragon fight interesting, to say the least. So, um, But while you're flying, you're using EMC from a Klein star. Um, whereas other artifacts like, um, I always forget the name of this one, so I'm just going to do this. Look for uses of bricks. Here, Mercurial Eye. So this uses red matter and a diamond. And red matter is extremely high EMC. But this is an artifact, not like a ring. Um, and basically having the mercurial eye activated, I don't think it works unless you put a Klein Star actually in it. So like you would have it in your hotbar, you'd equip it, 
activate it and it would bring up a kind of um, GUI, a kind of just, um, place for you to put um, the Kleinstar that has charge in it. And when you put that in there, then it uses that charge. Or maybe I'm misremembering it. I'd have to check once we get there. But it might actually be that you only need to put a certain type of item in it. And it uses that type of item to like build, for example. Um, that's what the Mercurial Eye is for, building stuff. Um, yeah, I'd have to double check. But um, the idea is the equivalent exchange two items use the um, client star either in your inventory or in the item itself. And that's why it's important to have. Don't need this cobblestone or redstone or charcoal. I'll keep the charcoal here though. Slime balls actually, I suppose I'll hold on to those because they're actually kind of important right now. Um, even though they're specifically Thomcraft important, I don't care at the moment. I'm going to keep them um, in a safe place anyway. I'm putting this in here to repair. It'll take a little while. How are you doing? Almost all alchemical coal. Cool. Oh wait. Jeez. Never mind. It's up converting to Mobius fuel directly. So it's got a ways to go. You see the blue bar here, actually. Usually it doesn't show because it's quicker to uh, convert something up. Um, it doesn't go like all the way to the top anyway. <clears throat> the top has like a fixed value of EMC. Um, and like up converting blaze powder to Mobius fuel goes up to 2000, for example. And here. Oh, now it's gone, but it's at 400 right now, and it's only this tiny sliver, so 2,000 is like here. Ish. And then this must be like 5,000. Ish. But anyway, um, let me see something. So, I have V-Crystals. Right. Um, I'm going to make... While well, I'm here, after I put those away, and whatever, I'll put this here too. Um, I'm going to make the jeez, my brain is like mush right now. Um, the taint and the detectors, which both require a clock, and I think a clock is redstone and iron. So I'm going to grab those and keep the spots filled. The detector, or compass, jeez, compass for iron and redstone. Clock is gold, but the gold part is because each of these requires gold too, so that's what I was thinking of. Um, Detector, taint detector is also the same exact thing. Compass, gold, and tainted crystal. And 50 B. So, um, to do this right, I'm going to turn this on. And because it's hooked up to a source of V, it's going to run constantly. But that's okay. Because as long as it's running, even if it's not cooking something, it is making the conversion of few, um, stuff that I throw in here, um, it's converting it more into V and less into taint than it otherwise would. 
So it's not going super fast. And actually, this graphic looks a little bit off, but whatever. Not important. Um, so I'm gonna grab a bunch of this. Because I need 50 for each one of these, I think. So it's gonna be a little bit... Okay. Two gold, and one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Put that away. And grab two redstone. Make the clocks. Compasses. Jeez. Um, so two compasses, two crystals, and two gold ingots. So let's toss these in. Once I put these in place. Compass. Gold. Sure, let's make a taint detector right away. And... I think that's all it needs. Hmm. I don't know if it actually matters what order these are in. And I don't think that this is where they go. And it keeps making a noise when I do that, so I'm going to assume it's active. Um, so yeah, let's throw these in. Otherwise I'm wasting fuel. Slowly. Okay. Maybe it was just taking a while to, like, flow. But I'm super happy having this atomic furnace down here. I wonder if it's going... Okay, it's still cooking, so I wonder if I throw something there to smelt. If it would smelt it at the same time. But that would be wasteful anyway. Unless I'm making stone, but I don't need stone right now, so... Not gonna do that. take a little bit longer. But I'm curious, if I throw in, like, cobblestone, it won't let me. Okay. That's the side it needs to go. Interesting. So yeah, this GUI is broken. It's, it's not um, ideal, but it'll go, it'll be fine for now. Um, so this is a pretty fast furnace, it looks like. Which is pretty cool. Um, and it seems very efficient too, like, it seems like you could make more than 10 stone with one charcoal in here. Now I'm going to see if it duplicates anything though, that's why I put this in. Because there were 64, so if we get more than 64 here, even without arcane bellows, it'll be useful information to know, like, the likelihood of getting something duplicated. He's pretty quick. Two more fragments. So the more fragments that I get, the more chance I have of 
getting to the next stage when I actually do research using those fragments. So I'm just going to throw as much cobblestone in here as possible. Um, I wish this would go a little bit faster, but it's okay for now. Right, these guys aren't... Um, they, they're docile, kind of. Like, neutral, I think is the word. Like, if you attack them, I think... No, actually, they're docile. They'll run away. The kind of purplish, grayish ones with spots. Um, if I hit them, they'll, they'll run away. But the the brown ones... Rattlesnakes will attack. They're hostile. Spotted snakes are not. So I'll leave the purple ones there. Wow, I need more cobblestone. Thank goodness I've got this. Yes, hello. Once I get these detectors made, then infusing wood is the next step. I mean, I could do it before the detectors, but I'd like to have these detectors as soon as I can. Um, but infusing wood to make enchanted wood is the next step because that's required to make the V tank, I believe. Thumb, no, that's thumb you made. V storage tank. Yeah, for enchanted wood. And to get enchanted wood, you use the infuser with regular wood or great wood logs. And I'm going to use these guys. So I'll make the enchanted wood. Each great wood log gives a little bit more enchanted wood than is necessary for a V storage tank. The bellows, because I have a recipe right now for this, it means that I don't need to research it in order to make it, so I will just make enchanted wood for this too. Vaporous crystals and ironing it. How many vaporous crystals do I have? Got three. Okay, so, I mean, that's fair. Three is fine. So the bellows can go on three sides of this, and I can like have the switch on the bottom, like connect to a block that's directly below the thalmic furnace. That way, I can get the benefit of having those three bellows, um, increasing the chance of duplication and increasing the V yield of this cauldron, so I get less taint. The next step would be to make a V filter, but I don't think that's something that I can make without research. Filter. That's not how you spell filter. A V filter. Okay, it is something I can make. Yes, wow. Two of you. Okay. So, a V filter takes four enchanted wood. Again, like one great with log. Less than one great with log. And some iron, the conduits, which are just redstone and glass. And alimentum, which is thalmic infuser with charcoal and redstone. Charcoal and redstone, sorry, coal or charcoal and redstone. Charcoal is cheaper, so I'm going to use that here. Redstone is like super, super cheap because we have these things that can make redstone easily. Um, plus, we have like five stacks of redstone in um, the Dense Ores Age. So there's that. I like how you can barely see that, that thing up there. Um, that actually, now that I think about it, it could have been... I could have put that anywhere, like underground. I could have put it in another dimension, probably. Because um, it uses ender chests to move things between places, so it should have, it should be possible. But anyway, this thing, is it done? It's not done. Oh my god. So much cobblestone. What am I going to do? And since I'm making two of these, I need more cobblestone. Yes, hello. I wish this had like a number on it for how much V 
has been accumulated. I'm gonna drop off some of this cobblestone actually so that I can get some items ahead of time for making like the bellows. I'm afraid of this spilling over, by the way. That would not be cool. But since I'm making the tainted one right away, I should be able to see the taint level of this place right away when it's made when it's uh, finished cooking, I'll say. Okay. And that would be useful information. Um Right, so making a V filter, I didn't explain that, but if I put a V filter on this, anywhere on like this line, then anything moving through that line should get filtered so that it has some of the taint from that, that V and taint mixture burned off. Because um, otherwise, this V and taint mixture is going to flow here, and eventually it'll just be like taint clogging the line. Unless I put a tank. Uh, a tank, like, in the path of it, and, like, a filter in some places. Is filter the right thing I'm thinking of? Advanced V-filter? There's something else like that. V-valve. Okay, so V-valve is something else. Um, the V-filter is what kind of cleans it of taint. Wow, that's cool. Um... But the V valve is what basically says only V can go through this path, through these conduits. And I don't really care about that right now. Um, so the first thing I want to work on is the bellows to increase my V yield and increase my chance of duplicating stuff. I have enough vaporous crystals for all that I want right now with these bellows, the three of them. So I need three leather, 12 enchanted wood, and three iron. iron. One, two, three of those should give me plenty. Um, what is aqueous crystal used for? Crucible, which I have, bomb confuser, I have the pump. The pump is useful in some layouts, but it doesn't seem to be used in any crafting recipes. But it requires an arcane bellows, which is a vaporous crystal, and I only have three of those right now, so I won't be making a V-pump anytime soon. So this upgrade crystal is not really... I don't need to worry about saving one for that. Um, any crystal can be used to make thalmium ingot later, or enchanted fabric, I think. So I don't need to worry about that. Runic essence water. Don't need to worry about that right now. Cool story. Yeah, none of that. And I've got so many of the aqueous crystals that I'm okay sparing some to make enchanted wood. So I'll grab those. Get 15 enchanted wood off of this. And then use those with the iron ingot and three leather, and vaporous crystals, three leather, what else, iron, vaporous, leather, and wood, so yeah that should actually be all, and it's not an infuser recipe, so I just need to get the enchanted wood, and then I can make these in a crafting table. Um, Alright, cool, so I've got a taint detector. What I'm going to do, actually, since um, it's about time to wrap up this episode. Oh my god, that stuff was collecting in the line. That's what was happening. Cool. Um, so that's going to go pretty quickly. But I'm going to wrap up this episode because it's kind of at that point and... Um, we have a plan for making the 
enchanted wood and then making arcane bellows and upgrading this to get more pure V and more duplication. You see it duplicated three of them out of 64, which is pretty low, but with more bellows around it, that should increase, I think. So that's exciting. Um, and I'll turn this off too. And um, so yeah, I'm going to keep this going um, between episodes to finish making the V detector. And then I'll make some enchanted wood. And the uh, and then I'll kind of cut it off there um, and wait till next episode to make the bellows and whatnot. Alright, um, so yeah, that's it for this episode, guys. Thanks for joining me, and take care.